What's up, NG fam? Welcome back to the Prairie View Legacy here on College Hoops 2K8. Yo, we have a big game in store for you guys. But first, let's check out some recruiting updates. So we ended up losing Henry Queen, the four-star shooting guard from Texas. He was actually in our home state. But Ole Miss came through and swooped him up. So we'll see that guy over there at Ole Miss. We might schedule him next year and see if we can get a dub against the Ole Miss Rebels. And we also lost to Dor Connor. He went to Texas, the University of Texas, that is. A 6'2 point guard, he was a top 200 player as well. So we had to reshuffle our recruiting board. And we ended up adding Max Daly, another point guard from Grand Prairie, Texas. He is actually a top 10 player at this position. And his number one priority is getting good coaches. So we may have a chance with this kid. Also, Phillip Boxer, we're going to put him on our list. Another shooting guard. He's 6'6". He's a four-star player. He's a top 20 shooting guard. Top 50 player in the nation. And we're going to try to nab both of these guys. We're going to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. So now we're going to move on to our game. A big one. We're going up against the Duke Blue Devils. They are currently ranked third in the nation. Probably one of the highest ranked teams we face so far in this series. I'm not sure. And you already know the head coach is Mike Krzyzewski, Coach K. He is 19 wins away from 1,000 dubs. And his top player this season is Ravello, the shooting guard. And he also has Plainness and Scott both averaging 14 points. So we're going to have our hands full. This team right here is not the most talented team we face, but... The media believes this team has a chance at going all the way. They're great at shooting, and they also have the best pro prospect in the ACC. Mr. Scott, the junior center, he's 87 overall, and he's scheduled to be the top pick in this year's draft. At this point in his career, he still doesn't have an individual award. He was selected in 2014 as a freshman all-conference, but I think his upside is what everybody is looking at. So now we're going to just jump into this game against the Duke Blue Devils. If we can pull this upset in Durham, oh, it's going to be huge. All right, so we're here at the Cameron Indoor Stadium. The 5-1 Prairie View Panthers facing the 6-0 Duke Blue Devils. And here at tip-off, we won this thing, so let's get it. So we got Okafor up top, kicking that one to Morgan. Down by the McCoy, dishes it back to Miller, Reeve. We may have to play a little inside out game today. And Morgan's gonna kick that one back to Oak. Caught him off his feet, he's gonna pull the mid-range jumper and that is buckets. So Sullivan is pushing it up court. The Duke Blue Devils, they're pretty weak at point guard, but we can't underestimate the freshman. All right, so Plain is got it, one of their top scores. Kicks it back to Sullivan, Ravello with it. Plain is going to pull that jumper, he's off. And Ravello, the shooting guard, snagged it over our center, and he puts in their first two points. All right, so right now we're up by one point. Okafer kicks that one to my boy Morgan. Morgan, getting it back to Reeves. Try to get down there. Got it down to McCoy. McCoy able to get his first two points. So McCoy, the young book, Lil Mac, don't want to get him confused, kicks that one too. Reese and Reese put two in there. We're up 12 to 4 against one of the top squads in the nation. And off that miss, Sullivan, the point guard, got the rebound. We saved it. And he puts it up anyway, man. We gave that guy multiple opportunities. So at the line right now is Ravello. He's going to try to shoot this one, but no, sir. Kane slings that one up court and Miller. A quick layup, baby. I'm not sure if he even put the ball on the ground. So Sullivan with it here. Kicking that one down to their fort. And he's going to pull one. All right, I see you. They're trying to creep back in in this thing. We're only up by seven. Sullivan going to kick that one down to Higgins and Higgins. Got my boy Morgan slipping. So Higgins is at the line trying to convert a three-point play, and he does. So we up by four only. Ravella gonna pull a three. He misses it. Can't get that rebound. He can snag that one on us. And the power forward got it once again. Temple to Sullivan. Back to Higgins. Higgins with another easy basket. So now we're at the line with Miller, who misses the free throw. The freebie falls off the rim. And Barton is gonna put it up against our big boy down there. And he couldn't do anything. Come on, Cameron. So we're only up by one. These guys are creeping in here and trying to take the lead. But I see Morgan over there from three, and he knocks it down. Let's go. So Okafor kicks that one to Miller. 
Okafor up top. Down to Reeves. Reeves got blocked that time. Temple with the rebound. We got our hands on it, but we couldn't recover it. And Plainness almost lost that one. Two opportunities for a steal, and we missed out on them. And Higgins with another basket. So the score is finally tied up. We do not want to lose this position. And Little Mac drove it all the way down the court and got us two. What you got? He's coming up top. Kicks that one to Woodard. Woodard kicks it back to Sullivan. Caught us off our feet, and he's going. And he misses it. And playing is with the rebound. They're killing us on the offensive glass. So Morgan at the line. And knocks down that free throw. That gave us the lead. And the second one is off and Woodards got Rob gonna kick that one over to Reeves back to Morgan foot on the line but it's a three they're gonna give it to us anyway Morgan has nine points he's the leading scorer in the game right now and Morgan is up there with it once again trying to check the boy kicks that one back to Cameron down to Kane a nice dish and he gets the foul let's go baby we got a chance at a three-point play the freshman Kane at the line Knocks it down, baby. A big free throw there that puts us up by eight. And the power for it got blocked. Reeves with a nice block and a rebound for Big Mac and Kane. Gonna kick that one over to Okafor. And the freshman Kane is over there. Get it to him. Kane from three and he knocks down one himself. So Kane has six points. All right, so Mathis gonna kick that one down to Big Mac with a nice move. And he got the layup. We're up by 10. Double digits, baby. We're looking like a top team ourselves. And Sullivan going to kick down to Temple. Temple going to go up. Contact and all. And whoa, that was nice. All right, so Temple with it again. Going to kick down to Plainness. Plainness can't hit a three from over there. To save his life. But Okafor with that rebound, he's going to try to push it coast to coast. And Okafor, I give him that much room. He's going to take it. All right, so Miller with the steal there. Okafor kicking that one over to Morgan. They keep giving him room, and that's all he needs. But Morgan is going crazy. And at halftime, we're up by 10 points, 42 to 32 against the third-ranked Duke Blue Devils. And the leading scorer at halftime has to be that boy Morgan. But we're shooting over 50%, and we hit 14 out of 19 free throws. That's huge. And like I said, Morgan is the lead scorer. He has 12 points, man. We were worried about Morgan early in the season, and then he's finally coming alive. And Okafer and Big Mac got seven apiece, so we're back here in the second half. We're going to try to sustain this lead, but a nice dish from Sullivan. Temple is going to kick that one over to Ravello, the shooting guard, and they come out firing. Scott lost doubt. When don't play with Okafer on that perimeter, baby, he's one of the best in the country at getting steals. And Reeves. Going to kick that one to Miller. Foot on the line. But that's a three-pointer as well. They're not watching the line, yo. They're giving us three-pointers when I'm sure those are two. We'll take them, though. And Reeves with a nice layup off the pick and roll. And Sullivan is up there with it right now. And the freshman point guard is having a hard time today getting his offense going. He dishes that one to Temple. A nice pass. And it rims in. He got the shooter bounce. And Sullivan with it once again. Temple behind the back. Kicks that one over to Barton and Barton from three. The Duke Blue Devils are coming back on us. And Morgan is up top. Let's see what we got. Okay, a nice dish to Kamen and Kamen with a nice jam. Let's get it. So Barton back to Sullivan. Over to Barton. We're going to pull a jumper. Yo, the Blue Devils are hitting all jump shots. And we almost lost that one. And we did. We ended up losing it. And Barton going to pull another one. And oh my goodness, they're within five. We got to slow down this team. The gym is rocking right now. We cannot let Cameron Indoor Stadium get lit. And Kane, the freshman, with a nice 3 0. He hit two in this game. That's a season high for him. Well, you can call it a career high. And a nice layup that time by Okanoa as well. And Okafer is going to pull one. And, oh, those threes are falling. Okafer has 10 points. And Ravello spinning. Kicks that one to Woodard. Scott, that's the center. He missed that one. We ain't seen much of him today. He's supposed to be one of the top picks in the draft. And Kane, the freshman, having a nice game against one of the best teams in the country. And Ravello, the shooting guard, good defense that time. But he ended up getting it anyway. We got him. With only eight points so far. We're going to kick that one over to Miller from NBA range. But he can't get it in. So we're up 
71 to 58 with three minutes left. A nice dish to Temple, and they're down by 11. To push the issue, Okafor, don't slow that thing down for him. Don't worry about him. And he's going to kick that one over to Miller. Where are we going? Back to Oak. Oak is going to try to get in the paint, and he's going up against one of the best, and he put it in on Scott, and that will wrap up the ball game. We came to Durham and got another big upset this year, bro. We're defeating a lot of top teams, and we're still not ranked. And my boy Okafor went crazy. 16 points, 5 for 6 from the free throw strike, 5 for 9 from the floor, and he did a lot of damage on the defensive side. And as a team, we shot okay. We shot over 40% from the floor. 36 from three-point land. That that would really help us. And we went to the free throw line a lot of times. And Okafor had 16. He's our leading scorer. Morgan had 14. So that means Morgan only scored two points in the second half. A nice first half start, but the second half was ugly. And Big Mac got 13. And the freshman Kane. I will give it to him. Without his output, this game would be going into overtime. So he stepped up huge for us today. And I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Another dub in the books, baby. And we're moving along. We're currently 6-1. And, and we're having a good time taking out some of the biggest squads in the nation. And as always, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Hit that like button, that notification bell, and subscribe to the channel, man. It's your boy, McGruff, and I'm out of here. What?